Welcome to a sold-out Hardslock Stadium, home of the Diami Kraken. You know they're named after a monster sea creature, so the fans are called Finns. That's because they're trying to keep the team afloat, Grim. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Snuffle Thrills take on the Diami Kraken. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. And that player just transformed into a... Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. <laughs> And it's first and ten. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. First and ten. It's a glitterception. Watch that. Oh, with the brutal hit. Whoa, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's another turnover for the defense. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Second down and 10. Hot one. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 
Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapped in on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. This is my guy, no, no, it's my guy. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh man, the offense called a murder ball. It's a little this guy's a brick shit house. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, what a run there! Touchdown! No one was gonna stop him. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. Any proud of that? Yes, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And that'll be second and eight to go. didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just... Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice 
grin. <laughs> It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Second down and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's going to go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Wrestles away from that side. This guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. I know I just said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. And this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the pop. Corn Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. <laughs> Second down and long. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. QB is saying his prayers. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. And this game is up for grabs. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles.
Second down and seven. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. And that'll bring up third down and seven. like a human cannonball first oh holy smokes he just killed that player with a cheap shot that's why we love the mfl and it's first and ten Hot one hot. Second down and a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Second down and seven. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps on sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Second down in a very lot. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcrim. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. Whoa. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. I'm a hell of a I am a hell of a Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, nice hit! And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. 
The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Second down and long. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but... Oh, with the brutal hit! Yeah, man, I was hanging on the now. You know what happened? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him ten yards right there. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Hot, 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 hot. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages. Two minutes left in the half. First down and one. Hot, hot one. Two, hot, hot. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downer's guy than a speed feed friend. He's running from his head. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere.
And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Missor can really dance, huh? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. You're gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't the broad in my. Oh man, he really wants it. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Can I kill him? Second down and more. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle at this point with multiple interceptions. The oh, with a punishing hit. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they didn't have to what the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. It's your time to go. It's your time. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second and three. And there's another pick. Man, this quarter. Hey, Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's 
First and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll be second down and four. First and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when it. Oh, the Krakens win at home by forfeit. And that sure beats a sharp stick in the eye, especially if you poke the other guy with it first. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Why well, pay for admission? I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, wait, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Girls. <laughs> Britton Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...